Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Tropical Reviews Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I'm so excited. My final girl, our final girl, Queen, the final queen, is here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh I'm not ready for this. Are they? 
Yeah, like literally. Her character is just Nobara times two. But see, Laura's still no offense. I even though I like that, that shit's a little selfish though. It didn't even sparkle, chick. Oh, Asuka, your Nobara is showing. You, you know what? Your Nobara, your my, your little bit, your raft tally, too. Oh, of course she did. Why, though? So, you two don't like each other. We can be like Muse and uh, Aquas. The roof! Look now, we ain't gonna take a message from Songo slash Kirby. Be like, yes, we're gonna take this small little room. <laughs> the roof, yeah. Mm. And it's cluttered too. Oh. You wanna still take the room? You could clean it. I mean, it seems just more like a storage room. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you can decorate it! <laughs> But damn, the eye catch is coming up so soon. Jesus. Perfect. We about to see these girls here every single day. Yeah, it's going to take you a couple of days.
poor Curb. Um, you know, she can't. Mermaid, no legs. <laughs> She's saying the truth, yes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mana. You had to play a sport, that's why you're like so late. Mm. You two had to be friends. Maybe even teammates. Oh! I want some melon bread. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's out of it? <laughs> cool.
Mm-hmm. I love how it's just Laura just like, mm, I'm coming out. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy the compact in May. Yeah? Yeah. Who knows? Because it could be sold out by May. I just, I want it <laughs> so bad. Like, ah. Uh. Because now currently I'm debating on buying gems for a game that I'm currently playing. Or buying a learn Japanese textbook. So that I can start learning Japanese so I can watch episodes without subs. My children. It's your destiny. You are currently a, a sorcerer. Now come be a magical girl. I mean, in a way, she's kind of doing it almost like a twinkle, which like, mm, she might quit after this episode. No, but mm, girl, don't do that, please. Oh, it's so pretty. She's Blaine that has had a strong personality and that I love so much.
That's fine. So in a way, it kind of looks like a tennis ball. It's too late. You're already a part of it. God. Okay. Don't know why. She kind of gives me feelings to one of my other best girls from a certain show called Sailor Moon. She gives me best girls, uh, uh best feels to my best girl, Mina called Aino, of course. Even though, um, because she's head strong and stuff. Maybe we might see her in a little klutzy. She also gives me Ray vibes. I mean, I think that's been like that for everybody ever since we first saw her. And she also gives me me to do and how to cut vibes. So boom, there you go, all in one. Oh my god, I love her. Oh my god, she might have to be like best girl for me for this group until we find out who the last cure is. Honestly, but I love all four of them. You guys are, you know, I love all four plus five if you count Laura. But like, uh, everybody's here. Uh, I'm so happy. Thank you, God. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm just this, is, this episode honestly went by fast. Like, oh my God, especially having you know the um, the eye catch eight minutes in, and normally we don't have that until about twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe fifteen minutes in. So it felt like I was like, well, damn, we're rushing the crap out of this episode, but. Yeah, it seems like her and the student council president possibly were teammates. Something happened, and now, like, she's just always been on her own, and, you know, like, there's no I in team. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not Manatsu. That's Hibiki biting the crap out of Norbara slash Mai slash Raftelia while, you know, me. <laughs> slash Violet of her garden and freaking Kirby Namarine. <laughs> Look, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, uh, Malo? But <laughs> something tells me Manatsu was probably dreaming of food. A typical Hibiki move if you've seen, um,. How heavy are you dumbbells? Because, you know, that girl loves her some damn food and ish. And so, you know. <laughs> but honestly, I love freaking Asuka so much. Yeah, she she's probably, yeah, not even probably, she is best girl for me. Honestly, because, like, I think when the when I saw the all four plus Laura, I was like, mm, I don't know who would be my best girl. And one of my subs was like, I think you might like um, Papaya a lot because, uh, you know, um... <laughs> her BA 
And I was in a freaking pizza, uh, 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 me- uh, what was it, Mellow Mushrooms? Yeah, Mellow Mushrooms or something. I was at a pizza restaurant with my mom, and I'm, like, trying super duper hard not to freak out that, you know, Miss Violet Evergarden, Queen, Mikasa, best girl at Taco Titan, bitch, let's go, is in this show. And then when I looked to see who else was in this, I was like, no, this is Queen, Senna. I was like, everybody is in this damn show that I know. And I'm just so happy. Like, oh my god. It, it's so astounding and weird and crazy. And like, I felt like I'm dreaming. And, and just to know that they're going to be technically not in a movie with like, yes, go, go. But still, even though it's going to be a mini movie. And, you know, <laughs> I just, I want this. I want to see these movies like so bad. <laughs> Uh, this is why I really wish Total Animation would have just continued with having all the pretty cures. But I get the fact is, yes, number one, it's so much on budget. Um, and of course, you're going to have a limited on your budget. But then it's also about um, essentially trying to get a whole bunch of VAs back for certain characters, even if they just have like one iconic line. And if they're saying one line, how much money are they getting for that? This is kind of the same situation of with Star Twinkle Pretty Cure. And why I feel like in Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, that budget and that quality of animation. Because you could tell, like, this, no offense in my opinion, this looks so much better than Star Twinkle. Yes, Star Twinkle had, like, gorgeous, like, shots and everything. But if we want to talk about that second half. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, go watch that video. <laughs> go watch the re- that reaction to that last video. I go in. Um, that quality and everything, the animation just felt really, really low and like under the bar. And I was like, dude, what happened to this show? And I don't blame Toll for that. I think it's mainly because whoever they hired as the Zodiac princesses, um, you probably gave them more. We'll never know anything about this situation, but I would, you know, your girl would love to be a fly on that wall to find out what the heck happened, but of course, no, I'm gonna wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 6. Bye, guys!